And welcome back. Now, what would you do if you were having a leisurely stroll along a normally quiet street and you came across a young girl crying her heart out, telling you she's had an accident? Now, that's the position we put our guest celebrity, Jimmy Hannon, in. Now, Jimmy and his wife, Joanne, were taking their usual morning walk, so we thought we'd make it more exciting for Jimmy. But the girl didn't just have an accident, and it wasn't a spare tire that they found in the boot. <laughs> have a look. All right, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and as usual, Jimmy and Joanne are taking it constitutional. Now, how will Jimmy react as he turns the corner and meets our damsel in distress? Oh, I'm so scared, I couldn't even look at him. Well, where is he? He's in the booth. He's in the booth. <laughs> oh, well, you better come along then. We'll ring up. No, don't go in there. No, no, he's all right. I don't think he's hurt. Here, help me get him open. Oh, no. Are <laughs> 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 you all right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Come along to the... Um, Just leave him there, I'll go and get somebody, okay? Can you help me stop my car? Yeah, no, we're... Just to see if it works. No, 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 we'll go and get some. We're really sure. How are you? The trouble, sir? Oh, no, just the, um, just, this fellow's not well. Just on the way to the station and, uh, yeah. noticed, uh, you're in the rack. Are you the driver, sir? No. <gasps> What's the car? Oh. You turned your car off. Right. Clear fire. That's a bit of a party, haven't you, sir? Oh, no! Uh, Oh, I'm just, we're just walking around. <coughs> Seems to be a little bit of a problem here. Yeah? Certainly does. Well, been to a party like the madam, have we? Um, Everybody? yeah. No, there's not a lot, Ben. I this is unusual. Is it, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You okay? Uh, what have you had of a... Excuse me. What about well, this gentleman just, here? Just sit down there for a while and see if you can come to. I wonder if, sir, if uh, you had a drink this evening as well. Yeah, I just walk up. We're just walking around. Well, you seem to see that we're going to be in charge here. I, wonder, uh, oh, I, think, we'll, I think we ought to... I'll get out, too. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you like to smile? Would you like to uh, smile at the cameras? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> You've got to be joking. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, let's meet the star of our celebrity stunt, Jimmy Hannon. Hey, say hello to Jimmy. Come on. No, 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 no more stunts. Uh, sit, sit down. down. You uh, you come out of this like Just citizen of the week, man. Uh, really? Oh, wonderful. I mean, you've done everything the right way. Uh, <coughs> not shocked, surprised. Uh, You're telling the lady I'm what to call I'm trying to calm her down. I thought, hello, hello. She's had a very big uh, happening in her life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just lay down and try to be calm. When you looked at I the... wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> when the you looked in the gone. boot, did you think the bloke was dead? Uh, I, I, I didn't want her to open that boot. I said, don't open the boot. I don't know whether you could hear that. I said, don't open the boot. That's all I needed was on my morning stroll to see somebody go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, please don't do it. It would have been awful, really. By the way, congratulations in Thank case anybody's much. interested. Jimmy is now producing Perfect Match, and it is a ratings winner all around. Really cool. Thank Thanks to Cameron oh, and Gary and everybody. It was fantastic. That was so full of... I was so full of revenge after that. I walked around like in a daze for about half an hour and I thought, who do I get now? Who can I get? You know, I was thinking of going around with exploding golf balls. I was going to fill Cameron's shoes with super glue and, <laughs> you know, or put clear plastic across the top of a toilet seat or so. Anything. That's right. Just Every, to get back. If, that's a good idea, by the way, the clear plastic across the. I don't think the boys have even thought about that yet. Yeah, but but it's wonderful the way you celebrities react, you know. Uh, the minute they get caught in something and they say to them, would you like to get someone else, they leap at it, oh, uh, revenge, yeah. revenge. <laughs> okay, well, we've got something uh, for you to show us later. You've got something to show us Oh, yeah, later. I got a good friend of mine. Okay, well, give Jimmy a hand, and we'll see Jimmy again just a little bit of time, just a little later. Okay. And coming up, we see how much it costs us to get someone to dress as a satellite dish. Stick around and find out we have some more fun on. You've got it. So pick me up. Right. And just now point me down the street. Point you. Which way are we going? Uh, turn. Yeah, to the right there. That's it. That way. Yep. 
right. Off we go, mate. Take me down. Right. And I'll show you which shop. What are you, about six foot two or something? Yeah, but that's... Really I, don't, three. I don't know what it is. Stand over here close to me. I don't know what it is in centimeters anymore. I've never worked any of that stuff out. Well, it's about 180. 180, huh? Yeah, okay. About that there. Well, this is called our Anything for Money segment. Okay. It gives you the opportunity to win yourself some cash. And uh, it's really a simple game. Hardly needs any explanation at all. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take a look at this first videotape piece, and then I'll talk to you after that. Watch here. Our reporter, Rusty Nails, is out testing a new satellite dish. Now, to get the dish to work, he needs the assistance of a passerby. But it's not as simple as it sounds. He has to talk that person into wearing the satellite dish around his neck, then to swivel around and try and pick up radio signals. Hey, I've got a mini dish over here which I need you. I need you. Look, I've got to pay you because I was going to pay the third member of the team. I give you five dollars if you'll help me out. Okay, well, there you have it. That's the first part. Okay, they've offered that fella. They've started at $5 to get that fella to be a human satellite dish for them. Okay, now we also have a second half to this. And this is the other part. Look at this. All right, this time Rusty is posing as a clothing inspector and is using any excuse he can to get this guy to take his trousers off in the street. But Rusty isn't uncaring. He does have a garbage bag for the man to wear home. They're a defective set of number fours, because I'm the inspector for number fours. And we've got a court case coming up against these people, and I could really do with those as evidence in court. I tell you what, I'd like to buy those off you. I'll give you $5 for that pair of trousers. Would you sell me the trousers for $5? All right, well, there's our start. $5 to get someone to be a satellite dish, and $5 with the fella giving his trousers. Now, what you have to do, Leo, is you have to tell me which one of those two stunts do you think cost us the most money? Did it cost us more money to get the fella to be a satellite dish, or did it cost more money for us to get the trousers off the other block? What do you think? I think it would have been the, um, the satellite dish. The satellite dish. Okay, well, you're taking the first segment. Leo thinks it's going to cost us more money to get the fella to be a human satellite dish. Let's see how he went there. Would you do it for $5? I just want you to hold it and wiggle it. I'll show you exactly what you've got to do. It's going to take less than two minutes of your time. T We've got less than half an hour to fix that dish. Will you do it for $10? Here, take the $10. Will you do it? Help me out for two minutes. No. You, you no, won't. I'm going to go in America. Yeah, uh, look, you'll be able to. Look. Dave, I know, mate. Look, I know. Uh, Michael, my, he's haggling. Look, I tell you what, I give you $20. If you just help me out for two minutes. Twenty dollars, that's all. Look, here. Take the money, put it in your pocket. There, go and take it. Put it, help me out for two minutes. D D Dave, 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 Michael won't do it. Thirty-five dollars? Will you do it for thirty-five dollars? That's, we've got... I give you fifty bucks. Would you do it for fifty dollars? Michael, will you do it for sixty dollars? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, take the money. Take the money, put it safely in your pocket. All right. Now look, it's dead easy. Go it's, on, you show me first. You put it over your head like that, all right? Yeah. Put your sunnies, yeah, good idea. Put, grab the handle. Grab the handle. Yeah. Grab the handle. Now t turn it sort of this way a bit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're getting... Dave, Dave, it's 60 bucks, mate. Up your shirt. $60, Dave. His name's Michael. You can catch him afterwards. Just rest it over your head and put it, rest it on your shoulders, all right? Hang on. Hang on. Let me get this right, right, right. This looks good. Yeah, now hang on a minute. Now we're going to try and get it. I tell you what, we'll even try and get a signal before we go. So all you've got to do is stand there, all right? We'll try first, all right? Now hang on a minute. Just. Just wave it backwards and forwards over there for me. So I'll put that on, and if Dave talks to you, you can tell him about this. There the is actually a Dave, there isn't is there? There is more than a Dave up there, and it is $60 that you've got in your pocket, all right? As long as it's so, somebody. So you're going give it, to give it plenty of that till you get the strong signal, all right? Yeah. Just sort of give it a wave around and make sure when you get the strong signal, <laughs> you'll lock on it, all right? OK. It's a good game. OK. <laughs> Don't ask me. Look, you're not doing that to chat the ladies up now. Just be... It's just different I've method, paid isn't it? I've paid you $60 to do this, so just give me the wiggle. Let's get that beam happening, all right? There you go. That was beautiful, Sheriff. 
It's always beautiful with you, Tom. Yeah, well done. Oh, do you have to go? Yeah, don't want your husband to walk in on us. Oh, don't worry about it, Rob. He's out playing with his satellite dish. He won't be home for hours. <laughs> Baby, I'm crazy about you. Oh, I reckon we're both crazy. See you tomorrow, then. Oh, I can't tomorrow. The next day for sure. OK, did you get anything? Yeah, we Hang were... on, can you hear me? Can you hear me? We, we were picking up some sort of signal. Were I don't you? think it was the one you wanted, but it was a signal. What do you mean? So, did you get a strong signal, though? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that, that's good, that's good, that's good. Dave, did you, did you get a good signal there, Dave? You didn't hear anything. What did you hear? Oh, just two people talking. Yeah? Yeah, not that much. What were they saying? Let's have an adult over here. That was my house you were beamed in on. Is it? That's yeah. probably your wife then as well. My wife? Yeah, she's busy at the moment. Doing what? Yeah, you better not go home for lunch. <laughs> A little, uh, a little sad news for our friend there. He heard a conversation he wasn't supposed to hear. But the bottom line is, it was $60. He took the 60 Now you have to hope that it cost us less than 60 to get the trousers off the next fella. Let's see how he went. I give you $15. What, to buy another pair of pants? Yeah, to buy another pair of pants. You can get a pair for $15. And so then when you dry clean them, they just fall apart. Look, I tell you what, $30. Sell them to me for $30. The only problem is I haven't got much time, you say. Well, that's all right. Okay. You'll be two seconds by the time you've whipped them off, gone in the shop, bought yourself a new pair of trousers. I mean, you'd be much happier getting a legit pair of trousers. When you're inspecting number four, it's a big responsibility. And there's a oh, huge yeah. court case. You'll be reading about it. You know, you watch television a lot, you'll see it on the news. You might even get to see your pants. I tell you what, I tell you what, look. It's, I give you $50. $50 for your pants. There you go. Give me your pants, let me use them in court as evidence against these people. I mean, look, they, they really are. They're fli oh, terrible. You could buy a dozen pairs almost for $50 where I come from, these defective things. Yeah, they're all imported. It's all garbage. Look, can you say, look, I tell you what, sell them to me for $55. $55. Look, I can't give them any more. They'd, they'd laugh at me, the lawyer would say, you paid $55 for these? I mean, look at them. They're, they're really shot at. They look terrible. They look great. They're just what I need for the court case. $65. As soon as I can get enough evidence, oh, yeah. and you are holding, well, the evidence is holding you up, will you do it for $75? I mean, all this time you're standing looking at it, we could be through with it. Come on, just in there. The only problem is you got to get a pair of strides, you got to get them fitted and everything else. Well, you didn't get those fitted. No, no way in the world. You can't spin that yarn on me. They are not fitted trousers. They... If they were fitted on anything, they were fitted on a monkey. $80, there you go. That's it. I give you $80 if you give me your pants. That's all I want. Look down at them. I mean, look. I mean, they really match the shoes. They set the shirt off incredibly well. $85. Get yourself something decent. So this guy bought my old pants for $85. I only bought them for $5. $85. Don't wave the flies. Wave me. $85. Look, this is... Look, I can't. Look, I tell you what, take that five out, forget that odd five there. There's 20, 20, 25, 35, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. Give me your pants for 100 bucks, let's get out of here, all right? There you go, 100 dollars, cash. Are we going for it this time, third time lucky? Will you do it for 100 dollars? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Okay, here you go. Is that a definite yes? <laughs> That's a definite yes, right, the money goes in there, right. This time I want to see the pants in my hand and you take the garbage bag, right, let's go. Here you go. Huh? What? Shh, you don't attract attention to yourself. Are you going to do it? Okay. Do you want the garbage bag now? You shout when you want the garbage bag. Quick, get the bag on, get the bag on. Oh, you got enough room there? Good man, good man. It's all right, don't worry about it, ladies. It's okay. No. No, no, he thinks you think it's wonderful. See, two ladies thought it was wonderful. And you got paid, how much did I pay you for it? hundred bucks. hundred bucks. All right, mate. That's great. Look, Is see? It? See, there's no number fours on there. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, it. I'll tell you what. I'll hide you and I'll... Come on. Hang on, hang on. All right, and I'll tell you one more thing. I'll do one more thing for you. How would you like to do this on national television? When? Right now. Leo, I'm, uh... <laughs>
It gave us all a couple of laughs on you got to be joking. Uh, Gordon Nunnis, the fellow who gave up the trousers for all of that money, is sitting out there someplace. Where's Gordon? Is he here? Where's Gordon? There he is there. Hi, Gordon. So, uh, you're not a winner. You made the wrong guess, but they tell me oh, left, pocket is, left pocket is for winners, right pocket is for losers. There's 50 just for coming up. Right, How's that? Is that all right? Thanks very much, Leo. Pleasure talking to you. Okay. After this break... Great. Oh, no, I won't. No, I'll, I'll tie it on the boot. It won't make any noise. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got it. No, tie it. No, no. I'll just... no, tell you what I do. I'll tie it on here. No, I've got no money. I can't get a taxi. Come on. I can't believe this. This is the people that hold on to the just me. It won't, won't make any noise. No, it's not going to hang on the ground. It'll be safe. Oh, it'll come off. It'll be right. It's only, it's only green. It'll come off. He's, uh, he's talking. He's talking a mile a minute out there. We'll find out later on in the program how he went. Uh, this week. I spoke to the kids again, and I asked them this time to sing me a song. Now, some of the nursery rhymes weren't quite what I remembered them to be, and I'm sure not what you remembered them to be either. Here's the concert. Uh, <laughs> jingle, jingle, little star, Daddy had a motor car. We did show and off we go. I don't know the other words. <laughs> Have you any wool? Three. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One. For the master. One for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. That's very good. Are you going to be a professional singer when you get older? Yep. Huh? Yep. When Sam got stuck up the chimney, he began to shout. You boys and girls want any toys unless you pull me out. My beard is black, they swim on my back. My nose is tickly too. When Sam got stuck up the chimney, a choo, a choo, a choo. Screaming so let us be just all be a young and free. With his to stay again. <laughs> I can't remember that. Oh, wait, we'll try it again. I'll help you. Come on, you go. Australia, so let us be just for we are young and free. With golden soil. With golden soil and his. And earth will be. Our home is good by sea. Our land. Our land abounds with. Nature's gift of beauty. beauty, rich and rare. And in every state of arms, Australia fair. Everybody, Jimmy Hannon returns after this break, and he shows us who he likes. Did it have to be a terrific greeting for you as well? Coming oh, back from a commercial much. break, and another the applause hit. lights never went on. Either. No, they didn't. <laughs> well, Spontaneity at its best, mate. Great. <laughs> now, you had a chance to get your own back. Oh, well, I told you. I didn't use the clear plastic on the toilet seats. But the finger of revenge was looking for somebody. <laughs> and uh, as you know, we, we do perfect match. And I, I thought it fell right on my lovely hostess, Kerry Friend. Yeah. Right. Because we told Cameron and Kerry that the new destination was coming up because we sent them to some wonderful, exotic places. And I said, the one that's coming up is Mauritius. And they all went, yeah, Mauritius Islands. Fantastic. So I said, now, what? What we're going to have to do, though, Kerry, is we're going to have to send them a little greeting to all the people of Mauritius and tell them that you're coming along. So we've got a very special guest from the Mauritius Islands, the ambassador, Mr. Alain Lemet, uh -huh. to come along. Uh -huh. And, and uh, well, yeah, Kerry was very happy to do the little... He was going to interpret all her words for the promo. So she was trying to speak in Mauritius or whatever you no, call it? No, 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 no. She just was just going to read the English and he was going to interpret the English to the Mauritian people. Okay, well, that's, here's what happened. 
Okay, love. Come straight over. This is the guy over okay. here. Hello. He's very strange, but uh, okay. he's straight. Okay. Alain, Alain Lamette. This is Kerry Friend. Yeah, Kerry, if you'd like to sit nice down to here. Too, Alain is from, nice from, from, from the consulate oh, in uh, the Mauritius Islands. Am I sitting down? So, yes, yeah, just here. sit there. Okay, okay fine. Pretty. If you could do a hair right. I've been telling him all about Perfect Match. He doesn't know what the robot is there, but I said if we could bring it over to uh, uh, the thing. Oh, there you go. What? To, uh, to Mauritius when we get here. Oh, yeah? Now, where is uh, Jeff? Jeff, you got the things? We can have a little bit of a run through for, Ke for Kerry. We may as well go for it. It's only about four or five lines on each one because okay. you stop and he interprets. Okay, okay here we go. Be a good team. Oh, can you see that? Okay. Can you see that over there? Yes. Uh, is that all right for you, Ella? Yes, I will. Oh, you'll go from, from whatever from, she says you okay. can interpret? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, oh, you're oh, right, Jeff? Okay. okay. So, no, we're just going to have a, a right. good run through at it. Have a good go at it. Okay. Oh, have a good go. Here we go. All right. All right. In three, two, one, and. How's this for a perfect match? Sunshine, balmy tropical nights and fun-filled days. All that and us too. Yes, we're coming to Mauritius and we're going to have fun, fun, fun. So be sure to say hi to Alain and we'll say as you do in Mauritius. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. that's it. It's not me. And the, oh, I was about to. No, it's. Do, what? See the first you, word. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah. But you from the back yeah. of this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. No, I'm not saying that. Though. No, 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 you say it. No, you say I won't. Because we'll, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll cover it. Yeah. Why don't you tell me I'm saying that? Yeah, well, I know. Okay. But just if you could say, you. Yeah. Just try, 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 try the, the first word. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. No. Oh. Can you push more? The first bit. Yeah. You push the. Yeah. That's a, that is good. Gada. 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 No. Gada. Gada. Is it, the Gata. T is, is more like a D. Gada. Can't be serious. This isn't going there, is it? Is no, it going no, 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 no. Yeah. Gada. Can you say yeah. Gada? Yeah. Yeah. Gada. No, Gada. Yeah. Yeah. Gada. No, gada. Gata. Gata. This is it. Next, is next this one. serious? Yes, it is, darling. Michael, where's Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Push the... Oh, yeah. 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 The next one. Bijok. 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 Yev. Gada. Gada. With the... Gada. Right, straight through. What does this mean? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the, the last word, mm -mm. Yeah, all together. Mm. Can you all together? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gata. Be joke. Be joke. Be joke. Mm. 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 <laughs> Faster. Oh. Yes. Gata. Be joke. Be joke. So fast, go on. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be serious. joking. That's scary. Hey, Kerry. Make up, Mary. Yes. Make up, Mary. Make up, Mary. Make up, Just say it real fast. You've got to be joking. joking. Yes. You can get there. Now that I get all there, Michael, what? And say hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, let's meet the lady uh, in the question. Carrie Friend. Say hello to Carrie. Here she is. Carrie Friend, come on. Joking was my big question when I oh. wondered if she was going to be able to sit down in that dress. Oh, it's very comfortable. Is that leather? No, no, it's a uh, wetsuit material. Oh, really? Oh, look, that Going was... diving today, I was. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is this is the sign I held up. This is the sign. Yeah, gata, gata, joking. Yeah, yeah, more from the from oh, the throat. Oh, honestly, just watching that back then. You had no I idea. Probably mad memories. You had no idea. I had no idea at all. I thought I was working because on the set. 
uh, I thought we were really doing promo. So I was mm. trying my hardest, you know, because I hate holding the crew up and things. <laughs> Going, okay, okay, okay. okay. She'd just finished five episodes. <laughs> and she hadn't done it. So we are trying to keep her busy with her hair and everything. They kept down. me busy. Don't let right? her look at the guy. Because anybody that's standing there in a blue turban's got to be suspicious. That's, that's right. right. Absolutely. Oh. Anywhere. Anywhere. You, uh, how's the old man as a, uh, as a producer now? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. It's just like our sort of adopted stepfather. Looks after us. Thanks very much. <laughs> well, She's got another third week in the show. So <laughs> <laughs> You're handling it right behind the cameras. And congratulations to the two of you. Thank you very on much. On Perfect Match. It's just going beautifully for you. Okay, how about a hand? Yeah. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Hannon, Harry Friend. Uh, we'll be checking on our newlyweds right after... Now, you feel uh, you're, you're not dressed right for television. Yes, that's it. I feel that one. Well, now, how did you feel when this woman came up to you and said uh, she, she's distressed and he said... I, I am was sorry for her, see? Mm. And who is this and gentleman here? This is my son. What's your name? Peter. Hello, Peter. Hello, Don. Nice to see you. How are you? Love your hat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goodie. And you um, believed his story, did you? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he stood in the middle of the road and... He only had two choices well, to was stop or fishy for me, or keep now. going, run but, him down. Uh, I, I told my son, is, we have to help all these people here. Mm. They are married and left there, them, you know. This was awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Robert, you managed to do it. Did you tie all the cans and things on the back of the yeah, car? Yeah. The yes? just married is there, the balloons and the bits. Okay, yeah. well, here we go. It's uh, 50, uh, it's uh, 200, there's 300, there's 400, there's 500 for you. How's that? Thanks, Don. Thank you, Hedmark. Anyway, that's it. They did really terrifically. Thanks. You can kiss the bride now, by the way. <laughs> that's our show for tonight.